We know text messages are a common way for companies to alert us, but you know what can happen? Scammers are seizing the opportunity to try and steal money from us. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with the text scam popping up now, pretending to be the post office. The post office does send legitimate texts, but this, what you see here, is not one of them. The fake message says, please confirm your address. It also says that they can't deliver it due to a lack of information. Well, the post office told me that they do not, I repeat, do not send links in text messages. There's also a sense of urgency to kind of scare you. It gives you a 12 hour window in which you need to make a move. So again, time sensitivity not going to be the real thing. <laughs> yeah, and that's the case with, with a lot of these scams. What do the real texts say? How can we be certain that this is the real thing? So you will be the person who actually signs up for the text. So mm -hmm. you are initiating, hey, here's the tracking number. I want to know where this message goes, or excuse me, I want to know where my package is going. Okay. So you will receive that text and then also just it won't be a call to action. It'll be merely an informational update. Yeah, we're not going to get a link that says click here for more. Do this and hurry. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's just all confusing. <laughs> and don't I engage. When in doubt, don't engage. Yeah, and I think about people like my mom. Like they, it's it's just kind of difficult to tell sometimes what's yeah, real and what's because not. Because the scammers have got I try you to good. call. I mean, you can't call the post office, but I try to call. <laughs> Thanks for when helping us out. You got it. We'll see Allison throughout <laughs> the week here on 13 News at 4.